Hi guys, it's Jessica here with a box opening, um, kind of a, actually a more like a post box opening, but uh, today I received uh, my um, Anoa girl, uh, who actually I got second hand from Denali Wind, who last week had uh, posted um, her, actually the body to her uh, you know, assist girl, um, goat, who, uh, is a, a, um, a character that I really adore. Um, and I, I've adored her, you know, um, and I really liked, I, I knew I wanted to get a Noah girl, especially since after getting the boy. Um, and then for this to happen, it was too good to pass up. Um, so she is keeping the main face plate, um, and putting it on a spirit girl um, body, but she's selling the Anoa girl body um, and then she two of the face plates. Um, so this came this afternoon, and um, I'll show you. I'll just take the lid off here to show you because other stuff in the box. Um, but so here was the the box. Um, she's a 2011 fairy skin special edition um and uh so this was i mean it's only been recently that we're here in the states get it's that that's getting a little easier to get a hold of a noah's but this was special edition um and uh so a rare type of a noah that was already kind of hard to get a hold of a noah's um and this the box says um you know a q lutz uh and then up here it says Noah Lucis and down here you know assist um, and I think because those were the two the two girls just like um, the boys had the BL and the LB um, which the box is over there so 42 centimeter doll um, and the boys 44 centimeters but uh, I thought I think this is really nice to have this and the box looks very similar um, to how uh, it looks. This is how it looked in, in the boy too. Uh, and so I noticed this on the box here. It says uh, 2003 uh, and the boy's box says 2005. So I'm not sure is that if that's when they originally came out with the boys or the girls. I'm not sure about that. I'm, I don't know the ins and outs completely of, you know, uh, history. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and I'll go through all the things that were in the box, kind of like a box opening, but everything's already opened <laughs> um, and I've already seen it. So this was the postcard um, that uh, Alicia sent along and nice little um, thing on the back. And I really, she's in Arizona. So uh, I really, that's really nice. Um, and then, so... Uh, these are the parts, I'll save the doll for the end, but so this was the um, big bust part and actually I actually like, I mean as far as a big bust goes, that's actually not, that's not bad, like it has a pretty nice, uh, it's not like the Minifee busts which are, look like balloons, <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Um, and then these, actually I already opened these, so opened this, so the eyes kind of screwed up in there. But this was the, and I do want to kind of figure out how that works, but my boy has that too. It's the the thing that you can put in, so, and it basically you can move their eyes, and you have to use the, like, the eyes that are meant for that. Um, so there's all the parts for that. Um, and uh, this was... Kind of interesting. These are the arm pieces, um, the non-double jointed, so single jointed arm parts if you wanted to put those on alternatively. Um, and then, oh this one fell out. Uh, so this is the fisted hands if you wanted to, and I, I don't know what that word is. I don't know if that's like a Japanese it means fist. I don't know what that word and I don't want to pronounce it because it almost looks like a naughty word to me. <laughs> but um, 
uh, I, I, I thought it just it kind of gave me a laugh when I saw that I was like what what now um, but those are the fisted hands if I wanted to put those on her and uh, there is and I'm not sure what these why the extra feet I don't know if these I haven't compared them to the ones that she has on um, they don't look they're not healed feet so I don't know um, so some extra feet in there and I love Anoa feet. Uh, the boy, I love the feet on the boy. They're just really well sculpted. Um, and I don't know if you can see this, but this does have a little bit of blushing on it that she, I think that Denali, that Alicia did some blushing on that. Um, so that was, that's the box. And I have the doll sitting over here. Let me go with her. So. And, uh. So here she is, um, and I have, uh, I put some eyes in and I have a wig on her. Uh, this is the, um, it's called the, the bully plate, um, which is a really neat expression. She's kind of, you can see that she's got little teeth here. She's kind of got this little sides, she's got the, like this smirk and um, kind of, I, I, I am really, I'm, I'm intimidated to do it, but at the same time, um, I am kind of looking forward to trying to paint that expression. Um, it's going to be a lot of it's going to be in the eyebrows, which is always kind of scary, but I am pretty interested to do that. Um, and then the other plate uh, that she came with, because she's keeping the main plate. She's keeping the main plate because that's Goat's character. She's just putting her on a spirit doll body. So these was getting the bully plate and then the winking plate, which I, again, I put some a pair of eyes in there, um, or AI. This is the winking plate. Um, and uh, there is a chip in the ear that will need some work. Um, and I was aware of all the, you know, there's some things that, uh, that are, this is an older body and, uh, there's, there's some things that will need work or just to be dealt with. Um, and, uh, so I was well aware of those things. Um, so she has body blushing too. I really, um, I thought that I might, I didn't, I don't think I realized that she had body blushing and... I was maybe going to do like one of those, um, I don't know, where people, I don't know if they use like hydrogen peroxide or whatever they use to try to whiten um, older dolls. Um, and I might eventually do that, but I really, I just, I like her body blushing, so I might just probably just leave her like this for now. Um, and the feet and the hands have... So I have a Manny and a Petty that's just really pretty. <laughs> I really like it, so I don't want to um, get rid of that. Really pretty Manny. And I, um, my, my doll Pam Ruby has a very pretty manicure um, that, uh, that Alicia did too. So I really like her, her manicures. But uh, both of the plates, they kind of, um, or maybe just, I don't know if it's the head itself or the plates, there's a little bit of warping. Um, doesn't fit perfectly, but with a wig, it just, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm not really bothered by that. I don't think it's something that needs to be fixed or anything. Um, so I have this, I, it's it, my plan for, hello, Olive, come here. My plan for these two was potentially um, for <laughs> for these two was, and I have some wigs coming in um, where they were both going to be a couple of gingers, and um, that uh, we'll see. I mean, it's going to depend on what I can achieve face up wise, um, uh, but uh, I I am excited to do that. But right now, this was a wig that I had that fit her pretty good, so she's wearing this. Um, uh, this was one of the things that so she's got a, um, a broken chip here, which actually, I mean, it's pretty stable and everything. So I don't know if that'll be something that I try to do anything major about right away. Um, kind of lazy that way. <laughs> but I just, I really love these. I'm, I'm a fan of these Anoa dolls already. I mean, I love the sturdy resin. They're just very, they're heavy, thick. Um, solid dolls. Uh, they stand and pose well. Um, I, I'm 
I really like these dolls. Um, so very happy to have them in my collection. And this in particular just feels like I'm um, flashing this naked doll around. But this this doll in particular just is very I feel it's very special to have um, because I um, I like goat. Uh, that was when I first started. Um, following Denali Wind, uh, Alicia's channel um, was, Goat was just uh, very fascinating for me. Um, just uh, the way that uh, she did her face makeup and um, seeing an Anoa, cause I just wasn't really super familiar with Anoas um, initially. So uh, that's, that her, her channel and Goat made me a fan of Anoas and that I knew eventually I wanted uh, to have one. So um, I'm going to put some clothes on her. I'll be right back because um, uh, I want to show her dressed up a little bit. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I put her in this cute little outfit that Fen BJD had sent me. Um, I think it, it looks really adorable on her. Um, and that's another thing that I like about the Unoas is that they are not so much, they're not slim MSDs. Um, they're like more like the normal MSDs, um, um, kind of like, like bulks, I guess. Uh, they're just um, thicker, bigger, bigger, just bigger. Um, not so much in height, though, a little bit of that, but it's just, um, uh, just uh, more robust, I guess. So they have larger size hands and feet um uh and um so these shoes fit her which are um these are a pair of our rabbit um shoes that i had gotten a long time ago they're like one of the first pair of shoes i think that i ordered um except for maybe some ebay ones but um so and i've always loved them and they have never really fit any of my girls because I have all slim MSD girls so uh and the they fit her <laughs> so I'm really happy about that um so I'm just really really pleased to have her and do some work on her um and I think uh I probably I will be on the lookout for a um for the regular faceplate. I'm not sure what they call the regular one because I know they have names for each of the expressions and faceplates. Uh, and um, it doesn't necessarily have to be in fairy skin. So um, she's got enough yellowing that I could probably do like their normal skin or whatever they call that. Um, but um, uh, uh, I would, I think, uh, eventually like to, to try to find one of those. Really like her. I <laughs> really, really like her a lot. I'm I'm super happy to have her. Um let's see here. Let me show her here. So this is uh let's see what him this is my Noah boy. He is an Anoa um BL. Let me get it mixed up. <laughs> the the uh, but I gave him a face up and I, I'm not super, it's not like my favorite, but at least he has a face for now. Um, so he is a little bit taller than her. Now she's wearing these lifted shoes, so she probably is as tall or taller. Uh, but uh, I really, I'm just really, really happy to have both of these two. So I gave him a face up and uh, he said, I'm... It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I there's lots of things that um, I'm actually not too like the the eyebrows. Actually, think actually turned out all right. Um, I don't like how uh, I did his bottom eyelashes. They turned out way too thick um, and long. And I think he would have looked nicer. And the thing that I other that was throwing me off, and I just couldn't figure out what was going on, um, and is that his one of his lower lids, it's actually it's actually thicker on one side than the other. Um, and so I there, I could easily hide that if I painted it correctly um, to hide that. But uh, just like the internal sanding, um, one is a little more on the is thinner. And the other is thicker. So 
And when I was taking pictures of him, just like, gosh, what is wrong? You know, what? I, I kept thinking it was some face up issue that I'd done, but I, I mean, it's something that could be hidden. Uh, now that I'm aware of it, next time I work on him, there might be something I'd be able to fix. But, um, so it's okay for now. Uh, like I said, I did, I do have some various wigs coming in. Um, I have a couple of different red rig wigs coming in and they might, so that might be potentially what happens with them as they are going to be um, redheads. Um, and so he might end up with freckling and she too. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, um, I've done, I've done one freckled face up that I did on my, one of my Blythes. And I really like how it turned out, but doing freckles on a faceplate that's basically five five times, if not more, bigger than this uh, is one thing. But the smaller size, doing little tiny freckles, um, I don't know. It just seems a lot more difficult. But, um, oh, and his, uh, let me set her down here. Um, I forgot to show his pants. I actually really like the pants that I made for him. Um, I put, um, eyelets down here and ties and he got a patch, which, uh, uh, the, this fabric is a little bit on the thick side, but it actually, it does, it works out okay. Um, I really, I've been wanting to use this, I guess I would call this an argyle pattern. Um, he's got... These are lined. I really liked how the lining turned out on those. Um, it's got pockets. You got pockets. So, and I'm working on a shirt for him. Let's see, get this button. I started sewing it uh, last night. I was supposed to be asleep. <laughs> I was supposed to be sleeping. Uh, and so I'll show you. <laughs> And then I was looking at it this morning and I was like, what the heck was I thinking? I don't know. I think I measured it in centimeters and then cut it in inches. Like this is so, how, like, I don't know. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to go back and um, make some adjustments here. Uh, the sleeves are going to have to be shortened too because they, I cut, I, they're not maybe maybe taken off a couple centimeters, but it's not too bad. Um, but I do like the collar turned out good. Um, I like the collar and the front. Um, and these are good. These are the the sleeves. Uh, so yeah, just some measurement issues because I think I was half awake and I was just like sewing away and like. I'm looking at this morning going, what? <laughs> what did I do that for? <laughs> so, oh well, honest mistake. Um, but, all right, here are these, th here are these two. Um, I really like them. And they're going to be really fun to continue to work on. And um, so I'm not super happy with his face up, but uh, I, w I did have some sealant problems last week. Um, I was working on the face up on my mother-in-law's doll and I'm gonna have to redo it because it started flaking off right in the middle of it right in the middle of doing the face up um, and This time I didn't have that problem, but what I had done is I had done the two I did two layers uh, on the face plate about an hour apart and that and it was I did it during the week uh, and then when I had a, a day off I worked on it. Um, was that yesterday? It was yesterday. So um, I think the key uh, is is giving it overnight or half a day or a day or whatever to dry um, when you put on the, the first two initial two or three initial layers and before you start working on it so that it's nice and cured and um, and uh, the face ups that I've done in the past that's usually been the case is that um, I will spray the the plate a few days uh, and then it may be days or weeks later before I get to it um, to actually paint it. So, but that was a morning where I'd been maybe four or five hours and I'd done two or three coats and then I went to work on it four or five hours later. And I just don't think it was enough. So, um, and that, and I've been using uh, Mr. Super Clear UV Flat. I have the can over there. I did get in some Army Painter. 
pointing things pointing to things off screen that you can't see. Um, but I did get in some army painter that I might try at some point. Um, but uh, um, and this will probably get redone. Right now he has a face, and that's better than not having a face. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. I mean, I'm I'm not super stressed uh, about it. It's just I'll just keep working on these things. It's opportunities to learn, um, and that's a good thing. Um, I um, I'm every time I do one, I get let I become less stressed about it. Um, so and I think that's the same way with sewing is that I was very afraid of sewing and stressed out by sewing for a long time and now it's become a very enjoyable fun thing that I like a lot and I'm hoping that I'll get to that stage with face-ups eventually so all right um all right thanks for watching guys I hope you're having a great Monday and I'll talk to you later bye bye